and I'm Aunt Nellie. And today we're going to be making homemade honey almond granola. So I hope you all enjoy it. Now let's get into it. So first of all, I just wanted to say that obviously you can go to the grocery store and buy already made granola if you're in a hurry. Um, and this granola is pretty good. They really improved granola in the last few years. However, sometimes I like to make my own because you can control what you put in it. You can use what oil you want, how much sweetener you want, and what kind of nuts you want. So today, we're going to show you a simple granola recipe that only takes about a half an hour. Um, I'm going to show you the ingredients and Amira's going to stir everything together. The first thing we're doing is we're preheating our oven to 300 degrees and we're putting some parchment paper on a pan. Alright, so here we are. We're going to mix our dry ingredients first. The first ingredient is Quaker rolled oats. Amira, do you know why they call them rolled oats? No, please explain to us. Well, there's steel cut oats and there's quick oats and the rolled oats are steamed and flattened and they're usually the oat of choice for homemade granola. So this is four cups. Go ahead and pour that in the bowl. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put in one cup of chopped, unsalted, whole almonds. All right. Now, let me get a measuring spoon. And we're going to add some salt because whenever we have something sweet, we want to add salt too. So we're going to do a half a teaspoon of salt. And I always pour my salt not over my bowl, but over something else because that way if you pour too much and shake it a little bit to flatten it. There you go. Go ahead and put that in. Sweet and salty. I kind of like that. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to put in a lot of cinnamon. We're going to put in a whole tablespoon of cinnamon. Actually guys, uh, this morning I had some cinnamon granola and it's pretty good, so I'm really excited for this video. Go ahead and put that in. Now at this point you can add flax seeds if you want, you could add coconut if you want. I'm going to add some sultana or golden raisins. Go ahead and add those in here. And then what we want to do is we want to stir up these dry ingredients. Go ahead and stir that. Stir it nice and thoroughly. Alright guys, so make sure when you're mixing, you mix it very well. And, yeah. Okay, now that we've stirred our dry ingredients, we're going to do our wet ingredients. So the first thing we're going to do is a third of a cup of, I'm using olive oil. You can also use canola oil if you want, or you can use coconut oil. But I'm using olive oil today. And then we're going to add some honey. And the honey will help make the granola stick together. And I have a trick. If you have honey in a measuring cup, and you're, you're going like this and you want it to come out and it doesn't all come out, you can spray it with a little bit of canola oil spray. And then I'm going to take this lid off. And I'm not using expensive honey in this because it's going to bake. If I'm going to use expensive honey, I would use it on yogurt or something like that. But for this purpose, when it bakes in the oven, I don't think it's necessary. So here we go. And I'm going to pour it in here. And you can see it comes out really nice. Get that? Yeah nice golden stream and because I sprayed it with that oil it's coming out very easily and if you look in here it's almost all out that's because of the spray now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add since this is almond I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of almond extract which has a strong flavor and it'll bring out the almond flavor and then if you don't like almond extract, you can just use one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then I'm going to get my handy partner over here, and she's going to stir it all up with a whisk. All right, so first we're going to whisk the wet ingredients, and we're going to pour them in here. And if you don't get all of it out, you're going to scrape it with this spatula. So we're going to carefully mix it all together now. Watch what's going to happen right here. Make sure you scrape it all out. There you go. We're going to mix all of these together. So, there we go. All right, our final step is to take our well mixed granola gently pour it on a pan with parchment and the reason why we use parchment is the honey is sticky and we don't want it to stick or burn on the pan 
and we're also using a 300 degree oven and not higher for the same reason. Whenever you have sugar or nuts, they'll burn easily. The temperature is too high. So as you can see, I'm gonna spread it out and if there are any little chunks in here, I kind of want to keep those because I like chunks. And there you go. I'm going to spread it out nice and evenly. And I want to make sure I also don't use a really thin pan. I used to do that and then I would burn the nuts before the rest of the granola was done. So this is going to go in a 300 degree oven for about 20 minutes. Okay guys, so Aunt Ellie is at the grocery store and the um, granola is done baking, so I was thinking we should take a sneak peek while she's gone. Alright guys, so I'm going to eat it's this hungry. delicious granola right here, so let's get a piece of it. All right, so here it is, ready? That is really good. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment on what we should make next. Peace.